Xander Holt here. Welcome to the Rock Hard for Life Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make cock a doodle doo chicken versus cock a doodle don't chicken because this is designed to boost your erections and your testosterone levels, unlike most chicken recipes. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that in a second. But before we do, I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, you don't necessarily have to have an instant pot. This is an instant pot with a slow cooker function, but you are gonna need a slow cooker or a crock pot. I recommend getting one with uh, a timer on it so that when you get home, it's not overcooked. It'll just be on warm mode, that's what you want. And that's the beautiful thing about these recipes is that you can put together yourself delicious dishes. It takes about 15, maybe 20 minutes to prep it. Put it in here, turn it on. When you get home, you've got dishes that will boost your erections, your testosterone levels, lower your estrogen, uh, home cooked meals. So that's the purpose of these slow cooker recipes. And one thing before I get started too is I want to make it clear that, you know, you can't eat a recipe like this and just expect to just pop a boner, right? That's, this is, nutrition is an important part of your erections, but it's just one part of the ecosystem, right? So if you don't understand the ecosystem behind your erections, make sure you look at our IPM erection ecosystem training, the impact point matrix. So you understand all the different factors that go into erections because that's what the biggest mistake I see guys make is they just address one thing. Like I'm just going to address my nutrition and they expect their uh, erections just to be awesome as a result. And that typically isn't the case. As long as you have that foundation down, then your erections tend to do well. But the problem is that's why guys need ED drugs is their foundation is not strong enough. So they need something really strong to punch through. But if you get a strong foundation, or at least good enough, you don't have to worry about that, you know, the drug crap. You can just put that aside and do this all healthily and naturally, which is what we do here at Rock Hard for Life. All right, so let's go ahead and get into making the dish. We're going to start off by making the rub here. So we're going to put in a variety of uh, different herbs, and we're going to start here with uh, cumin, one of my all-time favorite herbs. Love cumin, love the smell of it. Oh, it smells so good. We're gonna put in one tablespoon of the cumin, okay? Yeah, put that on in. Cumin is a great overall spice for your health and it's super delicious. And then we're gonna put in paprika, also a tablespoon of paprika. This nice red color. It goes really well with chicken. All right, so we'll put that in. Uh, once again, great overall herb for your health, and it's delicious. Then we're gonna put in our master herb. This is one of my favorite things about this dish, turmeric. Turmeric is super powerful uh, if, for your erections because it's uh, it lowers inflammation in your body and uh, it really improves overall gut health. Okay, the important thing to remember with turmeric though, to get it to absorb well, is you wanna make sure you have black pepper in it. So we're gonna do that next. Because turmeric, unfortunately, doesn't absorb well in the body. But if you add just some black pepper to it, it can increase the absorption rate by 2,000%. 2, Okay, so a lot. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little black pepper in there too. And then we're gonna put in some cayenne pepper in addition, um, just for a little bit extra spice. And let's see, here we go. Here's my cayenne here. Okay, and we're gonna put in a half teaspoon. It all depends on how spicy you want it. I kind of like spicy. So I'm gonna put in a full half teaspoon here. Mix that in, and let's see, is there anything else? We're gonna put in our salt, one and a half teaspoons of salt. So here's a teaspoon, and I use unrefined real salt. This is really good, it's full of trace minerals, unlike uh, table salt. So it, uh, it will provide uh, the electrolytes that your body needs, but that table salt will not. 
um, yeah, provides all those electrolytes and uh, also helps boost nitric oxide levels. This has a lot of nitric oxide boosters in it, which is really great for erections. We'll talk more about that. In fact, our next one here, raw honey, also a great nitric oxide booster. Actually, what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm gonna mix in the dry ingredients a little bit, okay? Because it gets a little sticky once the honey and lemon go in. All right, now we're gonna put in uh, two and a half tablespoons of raw unfiltered honey. Raw unfiltered honey is another male superfood and it just tastes amazing. I love using it. It's a nitric oxide booster in and of itself. It's also high in boron, which uh, boosts our free testosterone levels, which is the most important of the testosterone levels. I see a lot of guys just, uh, they end up going to the doctor, they get their total testosterone tested, but that doesn't tell you a whole lot because that's not what use, what's usable. What's usable in your body is the free testosterone. That's really what you want to get tested because you're actually, ironically, better off if your total, like a guy whose total testosterone is a little lower than another guy's, but that other guy's testosterone is his free testosterone's higher, he's gonna be better off, okay? Because that, once again, that's the testosterone you can actually use. Okay, so we got two and a half tablespoons of honey. Now I'm gonna take a lemon here. Lemon, once again, one of my all-time favorite foods. Uh, not only is it delicious, but the peel contains um, a very powerful aromatase inhibitor called hesperidin, uh, which blocks uh, aromatase enzyme. So I'm going to squeeze this lemon in here. Uh, an aromatase enzyme, what it does in your body is it converts free testosterone into estrogen, which we don't want. We just talked about how boron increases free testosterone. Well, aromatase takes that away, takes away the free testosterone. And so you want aromatase inhibitors in your diet and uh, lemon peel is a good one. Okay. We're going to put the lemon peel inside the chicken. I'll show you that in a second. First, you just want to squeeze this. You can use an actual juicer if you want. Uh, I don't bother. I just squeeze it between my hands, get the lemon juice out, and then, uh, yeah, then good enough. You just have to kind of look out for seeds. But these particular lemons don't have many seeds or if any seeds. They are organic lemons, by the way, because I'm gonna use the peel. Usually if I use the peel on something, I will get organic. All right, so we're gonna mix all that up. Okay, now we're gonna get our chicken ready. Man, that smells good. This rub smells so good. This is gonna be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside and then we're gonna get our chicken. So we're gonna use a pasture-raised chicken. So I got this one at Whole Foods. You really wanna go for pasture-raised. And this is where I say this is an erection booster where a lot of chicken recipes are not because conventional chickens, what they feed those chickens is not their normal diet. And then they have to give them, um, what do you call it? They got to give them antibiotics because they get sick from that. And then they give them lots of growth hormones. They get bigger, faster, and then you end up eating all that crap. If you look on this, it says slow growth. Okay, that means that they didn't give it any growth hormone. Okay, this is, this is a chicken that's raised out in the pasture, the way it's normally supposed to be. So the actual way the meat and the fat develops, way better for your erections. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna rinse this chicken off. Okay, and you, when you buy a whole chicken like this, you wanna go on the inside of it because you'll see a packet in there. They typically will um, package the uh, gizzards and the liver and all that inside of your chicken. So you want to make sure you pull that out before you actually cook it. And now that we've done that, I'm going to take the uh, strainer. I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to pat dry it. So just going to get, because we're going to put the rub on it. So we're going to pat dry the outside like so. 
and then pat dry the inside too. Okay, just so it's not sopping wet. So I'm gonna get all my veggies done here first, prepare those, and then we'll stuff this chicken. So we're gonna start here with the garlic. So what I'm gonna do, I already peeled the garlic, but I got eight cloves. I'm just gonna cut off the ends here first, real quick. And then we're gonna chop this up. Now garlic, is an amazing superfood for men. You'll see I use it a lot in my dishes. It is a testosterone booster for one. And it is also a great nitric oxide producer. So it produces nitric oxide in and of itself. But once you combine it with vitamin C, you can increase that nitric oxide production fourfold. So four times the amount of nitric oxide production if you add vitamin C. And we're gonna have some really high vitamin C foods in this dish. So it gets lots of nitric oxide production. So what I'm gonna do is I'm cutting three at a time and I just sort of slice it. I'm gonna slice all these up a bit first and then I'm gonna dice it. So when you do it, you, can, you get kind of close to your knuckle uh, keep your knuckle bent when you do this. Sorry, I'm not even showing you that right way. Here you go. Sort of keep your knuckle bent as you're cutting. There you go. And so it's the knife sort of, um, you know, follows your knuckle, but doesn't chop your finger off because you're going to need that. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm going to chop these up to little pieces. Very good. Oh, love the smell of garlic. One of my all-time favorite foods, garlic and onions. And this one's got both in it. They're both great testosterone boosters. So this, this, like I said, this dish is so good for your erection, especially since the chicken that's in here is so good. That chicken you buy, those conventional chickens, now I'm just gonna chop this uh, like so, I'm sort of move my knife. Um, I was saying before, full of the growth hormone, antibiotics but they also become highly estrogenic and you don't want to eat all that estrogen so i don't typically eat poultry unless i make it myself because it's difficult to go out and get a pasture raised chicken now you can get organic which is better than conventional i would say never eat conventional chicken it's really bad for your erections particularly fried chicken you don't want to go on a date and get fried chicken <laughs> that's going to be rough gonna be a rough night um, and even you know like I said it's even find harder to find pasture raised chickens out in restaurants and that type of stuff so it's best to cook them yourself um, and typically you just find them whole I have yet to find a pasture raised chicken that's been cut up into pieces so I like to I either cut up the chicken myself or I um, cook a whole chicken like this recipe is Okay, so I got all this garlic ready. So I'm gonna set this garlic aside in a separate bowl. Okay, put that here. And uh, yeah, so when you eat this chicken, not only is it great for your erections because it doesn't have all that crap in it, but man, it tastes so much better. I don't know if you've ever tasted a pasture raised chicken, but oh, they're so much better. They're, they're, it's like a chicken should taste. All right, so now we got that chopped up. Now we're going to do the carrots. So we're just gonna chop up our carrots. And I'll probably just put this all over here when I'm done. So I've already kind of rinsed these off. Actually, let me cut the ends off a little bit. And we're just gonna chop them into little slices. Like so, I'm getting two at a time. Now the great thing about carrots, first of all, they're root vegetables. And root vegetables are really important for um, overall testosterone levels. Well, let's say good quality carbohydrates are really important for testosterone levels. And most of the carbohydrates that we eat today are really crap processed carbohydrates, which is not good for our health or our testosterone. And there's a lot of low carb dieting out there, which tends to lower our testosterone levels. It's much better, instead of thinking about low carb, think about really good quality carbs. Because once again, your testosterone needs it. So um, root vegetables are among the best 
when it comes to uh, really good quality carbohydrates. That and fruits, a couple of your best. Um, so this is going to have lots of root vegetables in it it's for your testosterone, but also carrots are great for helping to flush extra estrogen out of your body, uh, which is really important because we want a good uh, balance. You know, our testosterone should definitely be higher than our estrogen. You know, you can lower your estrogen too much, too. I've actually met guys who have done that, worked with uh, clients who they did everything they could to lower their estrogen, and it got too low. Um, you can That can happen, too. It has to be a, a balance, but that's rare. Most guys are have too much estrogen, so you want to balance that out. Carrots are really good for that. Um, and the nice thing about when you're doing natural foods like this versus like herbs and that type of stuff, you're not going to lower your estrogen levels lower than they should be by eating good quality foods. Okay, you start getting into problems when you start doing that kind of stuff through like herbs and stuff because that's a medicine. Herbs are medicines and they're way more powerful. Okay. We got all our carrots ready. Set those aside over here. All right. And then next, we're gonna do bell pepper, red bell pepper. These are fantastic. These are bell pepper like this, <laughs> um, any of these colors. It's good to use a, a mixture of colors, but they're one of the highest foods in vitamin C. And I talked about before, how um, when you mix garlic with vitamin C, you can increase that nitric oxide production fourfold, four times as much. And uh, once again, this is one of the highest foods in vitamin C. So you're, we're going to boost it up really good with this dish. And we got eight cloves of garlic. So we got lots of garlic in it. So this is going to produce a lot of test, uh, nitric oxide boosting for our erections, which is fantastic. Now I'm going to cut this in half. And then we're going to sort of just kind of rinse it for a second, kind of get some of the seeds out of it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just sort of slice this up into thin strips. Okay. So, yeah, you don't have to overthink it. In fact, I may chop it a little bit just to make it a little bit easier to, uh, you know, get onto your fork and, and eat and all that. But you can just do it as strips like this too. That's no problem. It'll work because these are going to get nice and soft when you cook them in that slow cooker because it cooks for six hours and uh, all, all of these veggies are going to get nice and soft. Good. Now, got those to the side. Okay, next we're going to get our tomatoes ready. Okay, so these are some organic tomatoes and I'm going to cut the top of it off like so. There we go. And then we're going to cut the top of this off and then we're just going to chop it up. And I'll show you how I like to chop these here. What I like to do is keep the bottom on and just slice it down till it's almost all the way to the bottom, but not quite. So it's still held on there. So we slice it in this direction. Very good. Be careful with your fingers. And then we slice it in the other direction, right? The perpendicular direction. This is going to help us cube it much easier. Okay. Cut it down like so. It's going to be a little mushy because it's tomato, but then you sort of put it together a little bit and then just chop down. Okay. So you get more of a cube kind of a effect. And it, once again, this does not have to be perfect. <laughs> okay. It's just kind of like crushed tomatoes, like you buy in a, a can. But I try to avoid canned uh, ingredients as much as possible because they use BPA in there in those cans, unless you get a BPA-free can. But you still don't know for sure if what they're putting on that can is going to affect our um, hormonal levels, like BPA will, for sure, because it's an estrogen mimicker. So we know that, we just don't know about these other things, but we may find out they're also bad or maybe even worse. 
So if at all possible, I avoid canned food. You'll notice, uh, I don't think any of these recipes I've shown you, but I've used canned food. Always fresh food. Because that's another thing. If you're making it yourself, you know, now you get a chance to, to really make these, get these ingredients spot on. See, you can't go to the restaurant or any place and just buy this kind of quality food. Okay, so now I'm gonna cook, cut up the onion. Um, but that tomato, it's uh, once again, it's high in vitamin C. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna keep the bottom on this. Okay, you see the hairy part? I'm gonna keep that, I'm gonna cut the top off. And tomatoes are also high in lycopene. And some uh, studies have shown that that helps with testosterone levels. But regardless, it's good for us. And um, like I said, vitamin C is only gonna help in this dish because it's going to boost uh, the nitric oxide levels of the garlic, just like the um, bell pepper does, the red bell pepper. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna peel off the outer layer. You don't wanna use the outer layer of an onion for overall health. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut into the onion like I did with the tomato. So I'm gonna slice down. And also they gave, um, what was it, uh, onion juice to rats and their testosterone levels just went through the roof. So it's a great testosterone booster overall. One of my favorite foods, I mean, sauteed some onions. And man, you're gonna get my mouth watering right off the bat. I don't care what you're cooking. I love the smell of sauteed onions. Okay, so we're gonna cut through this and then I'm gonna score it just like I did the tomato, okay? So now we're gonna cut it this way, like so. Good, you see how it makes these nice pieces? It's an easy way to do it. Once again, if your eyes start watering, <laughs> that's pretty natural. Now I'm using, you can use a variety of different types of onions. I'm just using a, yellow, a organic yellow onion, but you can use white, you can use sweet onion, whatever you'd like. Um, onions are also uh, a great source of quercetin, which is a natural PDE5 inhibitor. And that's the same type of um, mechanism they use in ED drugs, PDE5 inhibition. But the difference here is this is all done naturally. So this is actually going to help you in the long run get natural erections, where ED drugs actually make it more difficult to get natural erections in the long run. See, it damages your biochemicals. This does the opposite. It provides you a great foundation for long-term natural erections, which is what we want. That's why it's rock hard for life. Get them for life. All right, now we're gonna put the rub on our chicken and we're gonna stuff this chicken. So we're gonna take our rub here, actually, let me make some room. Okay, put this right here. I'm gonna take our rub, put it on top of the chicken, like so. Oh man, that smells good. Then we're gonna just take it and literally rub it into our chicken, kind of massage it in, because we're gonna cook this whole bird. Okay, put some more in here. And I like to put most of it on the outside of the bird. Around, and then kind of take the bird, put it kind of right side up here and get some of this rub on the inside of the bird. Like so. Okay, and then we just go on the inside, sort of rub that around. Yeah, and then I'm gonna take all the remaining stuff and put it on the outside. Oh, this is so good. Like I said, you know, those spices, not only they're so delicious, but they're so good for you, particularly that turmeric. Really great for overall gut health and body inflammation in general. It's a superfood for sure. Now, what I'm gonna do is take, actually what I'm gonna do real quick is rinse my hand off. And then we're gonna take half of those onions and half of that garlic. 
and put it on the inside of the bird. Actually, what I'm gonna do is take half of this garlic out of here, and then take half of the onions, put it in this bowl. Okay. And then I'm gonna sort of mix it all together here. All right, I'm gonna take that and stuff it inside the bird. There's not a huge hole here, so you might have to open it up a bit. Yeah, just stuff it on in so it will be delicious because it is going to, those flavors are gonna cook from the outside, I mean, the inside out as well. So it's gonna seep those flavors into the meat of the bird when you stuff it inside like that. That's why you do it. Okay, plus all those spices on the inside will help stuff in there, get in there. Okay, so stuff all those onions in. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, I think I'm at maximum capacity here. Excellent. Okay, actually one thing I forgot is uh, the lemon peel. So let's put that lemon peel in there. Stuff it in good, yeah. Because that lemon is so good when it comes out, when it seeps into the, into the bird, that flavor of the lemon, lemon chicken, so yummy. Okay, I'm gonna stick some more of those onions on top. Okay, now I'm gonna set this aside. And we're gonna take the rest of these onions. And we're gonna put it here on the bottom. That and the garlic. So I'm putting my garlic and my onions on the bottom, like so, okay. And then I'm gonna put the rest of all this in here too, and then I'm just gonna stir it up. Okay, tomatoes, carrots, bell pepper, everything goes in. All right, now we're gonna salt, salt it to taste. So I'm gonna use some of that Redmond's Real Salt, okay? And I'm gonna put in, whatever your, it is to your taste, I'm gonna put in a couple of teaspoons. Actually, maybe not that much. Probably a teaspoon and a half. All right, and then we're gonna stir all that up. Okay, now that I got that all uh, seasoned up and stirred up, <laughs> I'm gonna put the chicken on top, like so. Yes, indeedy. Oops, all right. Then we just wanna put the, the top on. Okay, now we're gonna set our slow cooker to six hours, unless you plan on adding the fresh parsley, which is really good, and it's extra boost to your erections too, but it's really good in here. Um, you chop off, if you do, chop up a cup and a half. Let this cook for five and a half hours. So set it for five and a half hours. Put it in, then let it cook for another 30 minutes. Now I'm just gonna cook it straight without the, uh, the uh, parsley. So I'm gonna put slow cooker on. It's already set to six hours. It's set, now hit that. It's set to high, but I wanna put it on the low setting. And then hit start. And we're good. So in six hours time, dinner will be ready and I'll let you see what that looks like. All right, six hours have gone by and we've got our delicious dish here. Here you can see it a little bit closer there. I got a drumstick and some of the uh, veggies out there. Oops, I spilled some juice. But you can see, I mean, the, the bone just literally comes out. It's just, it, the meat just falls right off the bone. It's so tender, so juicy, it's just delicious. Um, 
What I would say here though, is if you want, it can get a little soupy. So you can put it on some rice if you'd like, uh, which is not what I typically eat it with. I don't recommend a lot of rice, but you can have it with quinoa as well, or even potatoes to help soak up some of that additional juice. But even just by itself, man, it's super delicious. All right, so tell me how you like it in the comments below, and I will see you in the next slow cooker video. Hey man, I hope you got a ton out of this segment of the erection boosting slow cooker video series where we are diving deep into fast, simple, and delicious slow cooker recipes that help us restore our birthright of having natural, long-lasting, stage four rock hard erections. If you'd like to get free access to the entire erection boosting slow cooker video series, make sure you click the link in the description of this video to register for free access to all of these life-changing videos in this series, along with some other surprise bonuses. Also, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and turn on your notifications bell so you get all of the future value-packed videos just like this that I will be releasing for you to help you be the best version of yourself and have natural stage four rock solid performance. I will see you tomorrow in the next erection boosting slow cooker video.